Hi, Paul M. Newberger here, and it's November already. Look around and appreciate the beautiful fall colors, a few remaining warm days, and the wonderment of God's amazing creation changing seasons yet again. It's almost enough to make you say, dare I say it, thankful. I know that for many of you, 2020 can't end soon enough. But let's not skip over what is typically a season of reflection, of realizing how immensely grateful we should be to God for all He has provided us. I ask your indulgence while I mention a few things I'm thankful for, you among them, and close with an idea that might not be especially original, but that I believe is more important than ever. Let's just start with a weird one. I'm grateful for the pandemic. Yes, you heard that correctly. If you follow my blog, social media posts, or presentations, you know I promote a rather unique mindset. Things don't happen to you, they happen for you. Well, perhaps like many of you, the coronavirus forced me to spend more time with my family. Actually, forced is a really bad word. In hindsight, it's been an unquestioned blessing. It reminded me that I'm married to the world's greatest wife and mother, Tanya Newberger. The wonderment of my three children, who are so amazing, I'm still stunned I had anything to do with their creation, was reinforced over and over. I'm an extremely, extremely fortunate husband and father. Because we couldn't meet in person, the coronavirus pandemic reminded me how thankful I am for my social media family, which literally numbers in the tens of thousands. Their comments and questions provide me unending inspiration at a time when you literally can't even look another person directly in the eye. I'm similarly thankful for you, all those who take the time to open my emails and absorb their content. My book, The Secrets of Cold Call Success, came out in June. I never imagined I'd be a published author. Thank you to all who bought the book, which might not be my last, hint, hint. My first business venture, The Cold Call Coach, turned five years old recently. Thanks to all who have helped sustain it and keep wanting to learn more. Most importantly, C-Suite for Christ also celebrated a birthday. It turns two years old in December. People said a faith-based group of business executives would never fly. Don't cross those lines, they said. Well, we did. C-Suite's reach is now international and growing by leaps and bounds on a daily basis. I'm grateful beyond words, to be honest. It's all God's doing, not mine. Even after a divisive, unrelenting political season, I'm thankful to live in a country that is a democracy, where we are free to share what we think and believe. What did 2020 do for you? Did you find a way to give thanks amid all the chaos? I'd love to hear your stories. Email them to me at paul at paulmneuberger.com. I'll share some in an upcoming newsletter. Finally, we're officially in a season for giving thanks. My hope is that we treat every day as Thanksgiving, where we recognize how blessed we are and thank God for His unending generosity. Let's give thanks every day of every year, even if some of those years seem harder than others.